first stop in Alaska, Ketchikan, is famous for its fishing, logging, and spicy girls. We are excited to explore Ketchikan, our first stop in Alaska. Follow us, the adventures of CNC. Ketchikan was founded as a salmon cannery site in 1885. Its livelihood initially relied on fishing until logging was introduced and cruise ships began to frequent the area. Forested slopes serve as a backdrop for the city, which faces the Tongas Narrows. A waterway busy with float planes, fishing boats, ferries and barges. But travelers should pack their raincoats as the city experiences an average annual rainfall of 162 inches, or what the locals call liquid sunshine. A small city with no traffic lights, here is a safe way for pedestrians to cross the street. One of Ketchikan's most popular attractions is an hour-long family-friendly show that celebrates the skills and strength of professional Alaskan lumberjacks. Street is known as Ketchikan's Old Red Light District. The antique boardwalk is built on wooden pilings because it was simply too difficult to blast away the rocky hills surrounding the creek. Although we didn't see any salmon, Ketchikan Creek has always been an active salmon spawning creek and Creek Street has a very famous saying, it's where more men than fish went upstream to spawn. Late of the Seattle area, practically starving. She got introduced into prostitution at the age of 18 and realized she can make money doing that. Would you care to take a tour, sweetheart? No, thank you. Well, she's doing that. She met a gentleman. His name was Arthur. He was from Vancouver. He promised Thelma the world. He gets a phone call from home and leaves. They were together about eight months. So Thelma packs her bags to go find him. She found him, right? Married, had five kids. She had just enough money to start a little business there on Alexander Street. Didn't do any homework. The chief of police was her next door neighbor. Didn't take him much time to realize what was going on in that house. She was looking at some serious jail type. So in the middle of the night, at the beginning of 1914, she changed her name from Thelma Copeland to Mrs. Dolly Arthur and hopped the Steam Queen. 
Tully made it here in a catch can in November of 1914. She was 27 years old. She was 5'9", blonde hair, blue eyes. She got her first job at the Star Dance Hall for Black Mary, which is the largest brothel here. It's that big pink salmon colored building around the corner. It's called the Soho Coho right now. It's got a big old star in the middle floor. Didn't take Dolly much time to buy number 11, little greenhouse around the corner. Had four or five girls there working with you. Yeah, come on. I'm just waiting for a few Yeah, minutes. had four or five girls there working with her. Got tired of all the cat fights. So in 1919, when this little house came up for sale for 800 bucks, she paid it off within two weeks, worked this house all by herself, and decorated it exactly like this. She never did smoke or drink, but she could cuss like a sailor. She loved birds, cats, and she had five different babies like this little guy. That's Dolly in her early 20s. That little pink photo right there on the wall, we call her the young Janis Joplin. She's 17 years old right there. That mock colored photo, she's in her early 30s. That full body shot, that's from World War II. She is 55 years old. You can see how gorgeous she was. She never did marry, but she did have a boyfriend for 26 years. His name was Lefty the Longshoreman. He was a stinker. He'd tell her he was going to go play poker. He was actually visiting the girls down the road. Didn't think Dolly would find out. Oh, she found out and was madder than hell at him. Made him be last in line every night. What a lucky guy he was. He passed away in his early 50s. We say lack of exercise. Back in those days, the gentleman only made a dollar a day. And these girls were making that rock gut hoochie that would cause them to get sick and die. If you died in one of these houses, they simply didn't care. They'd just pick your pockets, huck you in the creek. You were fish food. Dolly didn't want her gent to die, so she smuggled in the good Canadian whiskey. For a short shot, she'd charge you 50 cents. For a full shot, it was $2. For a visit with Dolly, it was $3. Around town, they say, you can get hammered and nailed at Dolly's house for 5 bucks. While on an Alaskan cruise trying to upload our YouTube video. Phew, done. Creek Street is only a 10 to 15 minute walk from the cruise ship port and is a must see when you're in Ketchikan. We enjoyed our time touring Creek Street. Six of our friends went on a fishing excursion. They got to go fishing, catch their fish. They went over to a little island where they cooked and ate their fish. They had a great time. And it was also a whale watching opportunity because they got to see an awesome pod of orcas.
Chachikan has the world's largest collection of totem poles. You will find the originals into the Totem Heritage Center, but you can find these totem poles all over town in Ketchikan. Every totem pole tells a story and the stories are so interesting. These totem poles were carved out by Native Americans and took about six months to carve a pole. We are boarding the ship and saying goodbye to the beautiful city of Ketchikan. Stay tuned next week as we explore the capital of Alaska, Juneau. Follow us, the adventures of CNC.